Well, what was a phenomenal rookie season is capped off with a very fitting award. Julie Alamon joins us now all the way from France. Thanks for spending some time with us. First and foremost, congratulations on a terrific year. What was it like to learn that you were getting this award, you were being nominated to the all-rookie team? Hey, thank you first. Well, that's, I'm so happy about that. You know, it's really something special for me. But at the same time, I just want to say, like, you know, we play basketball because we want to win games. We want to win trophies, but not that kind of trophies. You know, we want to win championships. So, yeah, I'm happy. But at the same time, I'm like, it's not the biggest thing, of course. And I also want to thank my teammates and my staff to believe me since the beginning. So that's a good thing, too. And. Yeah, I'm just happy about that. It's just like a bonus for me and a motivation for the, for the next step. Your path has su certainly been unique. Not many third-round draft picks even make the league, let alone get an award like this. Can you take us back to draft day 2016 and how it's all come full circle now that you've played a year in the WNBA and, and been named the all-rookie team? I mean, it's a crazy story because I couldn't – Imagine that this season was my season, you know, when I was in 2016, I remember uh, that night for me. Um, I remember that I, I, I wake in the morning and I was like, oh, I didn't think that I would make it. So I was really surprised. And at the same time, I knew that I was too young. So um, then I just knew that I have something in mind to keep in mind to know that, okay, it's my next goal, not, not for this season, not for next season, but in the future, I know that I have this goal in mind. And so, yeah, now, now we are here. Um, I took lots of experience with, my, with the national team and also playing overseas. So um, I remember in, it was in January or February uh, when I've talked with the coach and Tamika and I was like, okay, well, I think that's my time now. And, I was so, I'm so thankful for that, for this opportunity to come and to play. And, you know, we never know what happens. Uh, every season has its own stories for me. And it just like, just like this, just, it was a great season for me now. And I'm so happy that I made it and that I came because in the beginning with the COVID, I wasn't sure to come. Um, and I, I made it because I was like, okay, maybe, it's going to be special, but at least like even with the bubble. Uh, but I was like, okay, it's going to be a special season and I will be in this season. So that's also unique. And yeah, that's why I'm really happy about that too. And uh, about this season. For me, it was a really good decision to, to come here because when I, when I think about all those three months, that was just so crazy. And I know that I've learned so many things, not only in the basketball court, but also as a human. And that's something really important for me. And, and that's why this season is not only about basketball. It's, all, it's also about like all the things I've learned with the racism, with the social injustice, like all that kind of things that maybe doesn't matter for lots of fans. But for me, it was so important like to learn this. And that's why now, you know, it's, just like a, a job for me to, to, you know, all the things that I've learned in the USA to, to try to share it in Belgium, in France, everywhere in Europe, because even if it's not that big that, and it, as in the US, it's also, it's also here in Europe. And I think it's really important that everybody understands that. You know, you have pulled off this pretty unique feat in that I think you've become a fan favorite, despite the fact that I'm not sure any of our fans have even gotten to see you in person yet. For those fans that didn't get the opportunity and, and hopefully will in 2021, what would your message be to them? They've been supporting you, obviously, all season long from afar. I mean, I can't wait to, to see them. You know, it was just so, so weird to, to, them, to, to not even communicate with them and to not see them. But uh, just be patient. I want to say be patient. We are coming back. I really hope that next season is going to be, like, different. It's going to be a, a really good good season like before and uh, I really hope that I will be there like I really hope that I will share games I will share lots of things with them and I, I can't wait to see them well I think you and I'll be having plenty of conversations in the coming years about future awards and future wins and hopefully championships but this is step one Julie congratulations thank you <laughs>